I got myself a new toy. The multi-tool, which is a 20 volt Hypermax lithium, and it's brushless. And I got it for a project that I need to do, but for right now, what I wanna do is unbox it and play with it a little bit because I've never used one before. So let's do a talk about and see what we have. Hello, I'm Scott Bain. They call me the old farmer. I picked up the Bauer brushless oscillating multi-tool for a project that I have coming up pretty soon. I've never used one before, so I think it's worthwhile for all of us to do an unboxing and play with it a little bit to see how it works. Now, I'll be honest, I did, I did break the tape on it. We all know how hard it is to get the tape out. Now there's no tool that comes with it, although we do get some worthless sandpaper. Boy. That is some crappy stuff. Now I did buy some blades. Let me pick up some blades. Can I put them in? Now I did pick up some blades just to try things out. I got a titanium bimetal. In fact, I got two of them. It's supposed to cut three times faster. Three times faster than what? A butter knife? Uh, yeah, I don't know. But uh, I understand the theory behind it. I've seen them being advertised, oh, for the last, what, 20 years or so. Not Bauer, but different companies that did it. So, let's open one up and start playing with it, okay? When in doubt, bring out the old tin snips. That'll open up any plastic thing. There we go. Anything on the back that I should be aware of? No, it just says how great it is. Universal fit to work on most major brands. One and three sixteenth wide premium bimetal alloy with titanium coated teeth for precise and long lasting cuts in heavy duty application. Contour body provides smooth plunge cuts with less jamming. Laser etched blade features a depth gauge for accurate plunge cuts. Okay. Now, I knew when, from the first time I saw one of these, and it was a TV special where you, as seen on TV only, it was, as I said, 20, 30 years ago. And I kind of, at the time, thought, why would anybody need one of those? But, you know, people have used them and found out that they're worth getting, and now I have a project that's worthwhile. So, I did watch the videos on it a little bit. Okay, the lever here. There we go. Stick them the, the blade in, although it doesn't open up quite wide enough. There we go. Okay seems to be in place solid now let's get a battery okay here we go
Would you believe? Let's try another battery. Okay, I got another battery here. Let's see if I can get this one. She don't want to go on. This is the battery I've had the longest right here. So let's see if this one will fit. It will not fit. Can you believe that? Okay. What's the problem? Now, there's a lot of <coughs> rubber stops that make it set tight, and I understand that, but... See, I'm not getting it past the... I'll tell you what. I'm going to stab myself if I don't take that thing out. Unbelievable. Well, I've talked to tech support at Harbor Freight, and they have never, ever run into the problem of not being able to put a battery into this tool. In fact, they haven't had this problem with any of the Bauer tools. So if you've had a problem, I'd like you to leave a comment on it. I think maybe looking at it, part of the problem is, let's see if I can get it so you can see it. Right here, these pieces are angled down, okay? There's, there are friction points here to hold it in place besides the latch. But if you look at it, this is concave. Let's see. And it doesn't need to be concave on the battery. So right here, this is concave. And this is squashed down. So uh, this little puppy is going back to the store. I've asked if they wanted its label to be sent back for inspection. And they said, no, just have it replaced. They think it's just a, a one-of type situation on it. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. And then we'll fire up this uh, video once we get the next tool. Now with the magic of editing, we got another Bauer brushless oscillating multi-tool to work with. Took the other one back and they could not believe because we took a battery along and demonstrated that we could not mount a battery on the other one. And we double checked to make sure that this one would hold the battery. Here are the instructions. Okay, charging functions. 
Okay. Work piece and work area set up. Tool changing. A little bit more detail than what is common for a carbon freight manual. And of course, the Encyclopedia Britannica of uh, safety tips. And some of them don't apply to this particular unit. But at least we have a, a manual for those who've never worked with one before, which includes me. I've never used one before. So we'll set that off to the side. Let's take a battery, put it in, and see if it will. Okay. I'm going to take the battery back off. At least I got the battery on. Okay. This is not a one-handed install. There we go. Put it straight. Let's see. Now let's see how it works. Oh. Works better with a battery. Okay, this is supposed to be use be able to be used with wood, and I find it kind of limiting. It's, it's not cutting in too good. Well, let's try it this way. That blade is not overly impressive, and that's a Harbor Freight blade. In fact, here's one right here. Now, it does have different speeds on it. And you have to turn it off to adjust the speed. Well, that makes a difference. Let's go back and try wood again. I just had it on a very slow speed. Let's see. So keep in mind with the bower, you have to have the switch off, not running, to adjust the speed. Before I had it on uh, the slowest speed, now I got it on the highest speed. Let's see what happens. Now that's the way it should work. Not a bad little unit. But it tells me that I got a lot to learn. Boy, that's 
sits on there hard. And I talked to the uh, tech support, got a hold of a real smart guy there. And uh, he said they'd never run across this problem before. Well, I think for safety purposes, when storing it, you don't keep the blade on it, you take the blade off. So, that's it. That's it. That's a unit. There is a speed control right there. Bolts of wood maybe on one, everything else on six, which is the highest. Looks pretty good. Balance. I think I'd prefer to have the balance be this balance. This is balancing the uh, the unit right now. Okay, and this makes it front heavy. So I wish they would have adjusted things a little bit so it make it a little bit easier to hold in the hand balance wise. Or you could use two hands on it. So this is the Bauer 21101C B brushless Bauer oscillating multi tool. Goes from 8,000 shakes to uh, 20,000 shakes per minute. Before we go, it's important to quickly mention for all who are visiting to subscribe, ring the bell, leave a comment, and share with friends and family. Now for the most important part, thank you to those who have subscribed. Thank you. And yes, thank you to those who are visiting. We value you too. We're trying to reach 1,000 subscribers so that we may receive a pittance from YouTube to cover expenses. We replaced one camera, tripod, and bought a water-cooled editor for video production, plus all the tools we review. So if you could help us reach that 1,000 subscription point, thank you. Well, this is the old farmer Scott Bain. Be well, be safe, and be kind to someone. The VFW National Home for Children, providing families of veterans and active duty military opportunities for growth and development in a nurturing community. Please consider a donation to help their children and families. Icy Road Speaking.